Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today is Wednesday, March 7th, 2018. Today I'm going to recap last night's college basketball games and make picks for today's college basketball action and recap last night's NBA action and make picks for the ESPN doubleheader and preview the rest of the NBA slate. All right, picks from yesterday in college basketball. I went 16-5, and five, so that's pretty good. Boston College defeated Georgia Tech by a score of 87-77. I had Boston College on the podcast. It was the ACC tournament first round. Kai Bowman put up 26 in the win, and Tadrick Jackson put up 29 points in defeat. Also in the ACC tournament first round, Notre Dame defeated Pitt by a score of 67-64. Bonzi Colson put up 19 in the win, and Marcus Carr put up 18 in defeat. Big Sky first round, North Dakota defeated Montana State by a score of 76-74. I had Montana State on the podcast. I was wrong. Marlon Stewart put up 29 points in the win, and Devontae Kilnis put up 16 in defeat. Florida A&M defeated Howard by a score of 88-78 in the MEAC first round. I had Florida A&M on the podcast. Elijah Mays put up 27 in the win, and RJ Cole put up 25 in defeat. Northern Colorado defeated Northern Arizona 82-59 in the Big Sky first round. I had Northern Colorado on the podcast. Jordan Davis put up 21 in the win, and Corey Brown put up 13 in defeat. NC Central defeated Coppin State by a score of 60-48 to in the MEAC first round. I had NC Central on the podcast. Reginald Gardner Jr. put up 20 in the win. Karan Davis put up 13 in defeat. Syracuse defeated Wake Forest by a score of 73-64 in the ACC tournament first round. I had Syracuse on the podcast. Marie Dolazage put up 20 in the win, and Bryant Crawford put up 22 in defeat. Wright State defeated Cleveland State by a score of 74-57 in the Horizon League final, and Wright State's off to the big dance. Grant Benzinger put up 19 in the win, and Kenny Carpenter put up 18 in defeat, and I had Wright State on the podcast. Charleston defeated Northeastern. Now this was an entertaining game, 83-76 in overtime, the CAA final. Charleston's off to the big dance. I had Charleston on the podcast. Joe Chile put up 32 in the win, and Vasa Puskia put up 30 in defeat. Vermont defeated Stony Brook by a score of 70 to 51 in the America East semifinal. I had Vermont on the podcast. Drew Urquhart put up 19 in the win, and Akazi Yuba put up 15 in defeat. Vermont's off to the AEC title game. LIU upset Wagner 71-61 in the Northeast final. So the LIU Brooklyn's off to the big dance. Joel Hernandez was the best player on the court in that game. He had 32 in the win. Ramon Saunders put up 17 in defeat. And I had Wagner on the podcast. I was incorrect. UMBC defeated Hartford by a score of 75-60 to 60 in the America East semifinal. I had UMBC on the podcast. KG Mora had 18 in defeat. Jason Dunn had 15 in the win. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Um, KJ Mora had 18 in the win. Jason Dunn had 15 in defeat. Arkansas's Pine Bluff defeated Mississippi Valley State by a score of 77-73 in the SWAC quarterfinal. I had Pine Bluff on the podcast. Martavius McKnight put up 16 in the win, and Jordan Evans put up 20 in defeat. Southern defeated Jackson State by a score of 62-60 in the SWAC quarterfinal. I had Southern on the podcast. Eddie Reese put up 21 in the win. Paris Collins put up 17 in defeat. Southern Utah upset Idaho State by a score of 76-68 in the Big Sky first round. I had Idaho State on the podcast, I was wrong. Brandon Better put up 18 in the win. Brandon Boyd put up 22 in defeat. Brandon Better's a fun name. A fun name. Brandon Better. Gonzaga defeated BYU by a score of 74-64. I'm sorry, 74-54 to get the auto bid in the West Coast Conference Final. Killian Tilly put up 22 in the win, and Yoali Childs put up 20 in defeat. South Dakota State defeated South Dakota 97-87 in the Summit League Final. 
South Dakota State's off to the big dance. I had South Dakota on the podcast. I was wrong. I actually had Gonzaga, and I was correct there. David Jenkins Jr. put up 29 in the win, and Matt Mooney put up 30 in defeat. Congrats to the Jackrabbits. Morgan State defeated South Carolina State 83-80. I had South Carolina State on the podcast. I was wrong. This was the MEAC first round. Philip Carr put up 21 in the win. James Richardson put up 23 in defeat. Texas Southern defeated Alabama State 90-76 in the SWAC first round. I had Texas Southern on the podcast. Dante Clark had 30 in the win. Reginald G. had 30 in defeat. Prairie View A&M defeated Alcorn State 87-71. I had Prairie View on the podcast. Gary Blackson put up 21 in the win. Tremaine Crosby put up 17 in defeat. Last but not least for the Wednesday picks, Portland State defeated Sacramento State 71-67. Holland Woods had 18 in the win. Bryce Fowler put up 16 in defeat. That was the Big Sky first round. Picks for today already underway is Louisville, Florida State. On my ACC preview and predictions podcast, I took Louisville, and I stand by that pick. Texas State and Coastal Carolina in the Sun Belt first round. I took Coastal Carolina on that podcast. I stand by the pick. Boston College, NC State. The backcourt of Boston College is going to keep them in this game, but I like NC State. Air Force, UNLV. Give me UNLV. Arizona State, Colorado in the Pac-12 first round. Pac-12 podcast previewing and predicting that tournament coming soon. Give me Arizona State. Little Rock, Appalachian State, Sunbelt first round. Give me App State. Colorado State, Utah State in the... MWC first round, give me Utah State. Cal Stanford, Pac-12 first round, give me Stanford. UMass LaSalle, A-10 first round, give me LaSalle. South Alabama, Troy, Sunbelt first round, give me Troy. Texas A&M, CC against New Orleans. Southlands first round, give me New Orleans. Florida A&M against Hampton in the MEAC quarterfinal, give me Hampton. Notre Dame, Virginia Tech in the ACC second round. Give me Notre Dame in the upset. Matt Farrell and Bonzi Colson will lead the way. Ooh, I just noticed Notre Dame's favorite in that game. That's interesting. Vanderbilt, Georgia, SCC first round. SCC podcast preview and predictions for that tournament coming soon. Give me Georgia. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Big 12 first round. Big 12 tournament preview and predictions podcast coming soon as well. Give me Oklahoma State in an upset there. Oklahoma did not finish the season well, and neither did Trey Young. St. John's and Georgetown. Big East first round from Madison Square Garden. Give me St. John's. Big East preview podcast with predictions coming soon as well. San Jose State, Wyoming. MWC first round. Give me Wyoming. CUSA first round. Southern Miss FIU. CUSA preview and predictions podcast coming soon as well. Give me FIU. UTEP, UTSA, CUSA first round. Give me UTSA. Colgate Bucknell in the Patriot League men's final. Give me Bucknell. Fordham, George Washington in the 8-10 first round. Give me George Washington. Arkansas State against UL Monroe in the Sun Belt first round. Give me UL Monroe. Central Arkansas against Lamar in the Southland first round. Give me Central Arkansas in the upset. Morgan State against Bethune-Cookman in the MEAC quarterfinal. Give me Bethune-Cookman. Syracuse against UNC in the ACC second round. Give me UNC. Although Syracuse needs this game if they... This is like the winner go-home game for Syracuse, but UNC is just better. So give me Carolina. Ole Miss against South Carolina in the SEC first round. Give me South Carolina. Oregon State against Washington. In the Pac-12 first round, give me Washington. Iowa State, Texas in the Big 12 first round, give me Texas. DePaul Marquette in the Big East first round, give me Marquette. Louisiana Tech against North Texas in the CUSA first round, give me Louisiana Tech. FAU against UAB in the CUSA first round, give me UAB. And last but not least, Washington State against Oregon in the Pac-12 first round, give me Oregon. All right, NBA, I'm going to recap last night's results and then uh, look at tonight's slate and pick the ESPN games. 
First result from last night, 76ers defeating the Hornets. 128-114, Philly improves to 38-28, and Charlotte drops to 28-37. and Robert Covington had 22 points in the win, and Dwight Howard put up 30 points and 6 rebounds in the feet. Dwight Howard's had a good season on Charlotte very quietly. I think he's in a contract year, so that would be an interesting gamble for somebody. Hawks, Raptors, the Raptors defeated the Hawks, 106-90. The Raptors maintain the East's best record with, at 14-17. and 17. Atlanta is 20-45. and 45. DeMar DeRozan put up 25 in the win. John Collins put up 14 in defeat. The Wizards defeated the Heat, 117-113 in overtime. Big win for the Wizards as they improved to 37-28. and 28. Miami drops to 34-31. and 31. Bradley Beal put up 30 points. And seven assists in the win. Dwayne Wade put up 22 in defeat. Bradley Beal's made a, a jump this season. Certainly a most improved candidate. But like I've mentioned on this podcast several times, Victor Oladipo should be the runaway winner. The Rockets defeated the Thunder 122 to 112 to win their 16th straight game. I had OKC on the podcast. I was wrong. 50 and 13 are the Rockets now. OKC drops to 37 and 29. Chris Paul put up 25 points in the win. Russell Westbrook put up 32 points and 7 assists in defeat. The Mavs defeated the Nuggets 118-107. Bad loss for the Denver Nuggets. They were probably looking ahead to tonight's game against Cleveland and kind of overlooked Dallas. Dallas has been good. They've been a good spoiler for some teams this season. They knocked off Indiana earlier in the year. I think they knocked off the Thunder as well. So Dallas has been a spoiler down the stretch. They improved to 20 and 45. Denver drops to 35 and 29. Yogi Farrell put up 24 points in the win. Wilson Chandler put up 21 in defeat. Wilson Chandler's been a nice piece off the bench for Denver this season. Good three-point shooter for them as well. The Warriors defeated the Nats 114-101. This was a crazy game with a bunch of crazy runs. Golden State's now 15 and 14. Brooklyn is now. 20 and 45. Stephen Curry put up 34 points and six rebounds in the win. D'Angelo Russell put up 20 points and eight assists in defeat. The Trailblazers defeated the Knicks 111 87. The Blazers improved to 39 26. The Knicks dropped to 20 and 41. Eight straight wins for the Blazers. Damian Lillard red hot again. 37 points. Tim Hardaway Jr. had 19 for the Knicks. Damian Lillard, by the way, everyone talks about Anthony Davis being a sleeper MVP candidate. Don't sleep on Damian Lillard. Because Portland, as of right now, is your three seed in the Western Conference. So, Damian Lillard is making a push to be at least a candidate for the MVP. And speaking of Anthony Davis, the Pelicans defeated the Clippers 121-116. Anthony Davis had a rib contusion and still put up 41 points and 13 rebounds in the game. Tobias Harris put up 27 in defeat. Tobias Harris has been a nice fit on the Clippers. I had the Pelicans on the podcast, so I split the NBA doubleheader. So overall, with my picks, including college, I went 17 and 6 for yesterday. New Orleans is now 37 26. The Clippers dropped to 34 and 29. And Davis is just a stud. Looking ahead to tonight, the Jazz are at Indiana. Interesting game, big game for both teams. Both of these teams in the playoff races in their respective conferences. I mentioned Joe Inglis the other day. He's been one of the more improved guys in the league. Um, The Raptors are at the Pistons. That's one of the ESPN games. Give me the Raptors, and I think they can win this game by double digits. They're so good. The Pistons have been a disappointment since they acquired Blake Griffin. Battle of Tankers, the Grizzlies at the Bulls. Um, the Bulls actually got notified by the league recently for because they rested a healthy Robin Lopez and a healthy Justin Holiday. The league got mad at them for tanking pretty much. So that's like an interesting subplot to this game. Or the other tanking teams like the Grizzlies, like the Kings, like the Knicks, like the Hawks. If That's like a warning to those teams as well because... Um, Resting veterans, like the league, starting to take notice of that. Um, so, a lot of young guys, and uh, 
Marcus Gasol is probably the best guy on the court in this game. Unless he doesn't play. The Rockets are at the Bucks. This should be an ESPN game instead of Raptors Pistons, to be quite honest. Because it's James Harden against Giannis Adetokounmpo in this game. I think the Bucks can win this game. Because the Rockets are coming off the second of back-to-back. I'd much rather see this game than Pistons against the Raptors. Because the Rockets are going for 17 in a row. I'm not going to pick this towards Maddie's picks because it's not a national game. But I'm going to say the Bucks cover the six, but the Rockets win the game in a close one. I just don't think Giannis Adetokounmpo's team should be getting more than five points at home. So the Rockets should win, but the Bucks will probably cover the number. Like I said, that's not a Maddie's picks game. Pelicans at the Kings. DeMarcus Cousins returns to Sacramento. That Oh, wait a minute. It would have been a return game if uh, he wasn't hurt. That's an oops. But yeah, if Boogie wasn't hurt, that's a return game for him. And then the other storyline is Buddy Hield against his former team. New Orleans needs to take care of the tanking teams. The Cavs at the Nuggets is the nightcap doubleheader game. That's a great one. That belongs on ESPN. Nuggets are a big game team this season. Um, the Cavaliers, depends on... Depends on the game. They're like an on-off switch team. I like the Nuggets at home. The backcourt of Jamal Murray and Gary Harris and Will Barton coming off the bench. I mentioned Wilson Chandler before. He's been a good three-point shooter this season and an energy guy off the bench. Jokic might be the best guy on the court tonight if LeBron has an off night. So that's an interesting game. Then the Magic at the Lakers. Um... I've mentioned the Lakers several times on this podcast and how they've been the spoiler of playoff hopefuls and this season and seedings and whatnot. The Magic are tanking, and um, the Lakers probably will win that game. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy this snowy weather. I'm going to come out with more podcasts throughout the day previewing the... Mountain West, the Big 12, the SEC, the Big East, the Pac-12, CUSA, and the Southland. That's a lot of podcasts to do. I hope you guys enjoy your day.